the oh I've got a fish sort out a pump before there you go little rock pipit there beautiful little bird isn't it they got a hard life going on a life out on here nice of him to uh, come and see us I'm gonna start off today with uh, an FF Esslers uh, fang by my boat. It's a 75 millimeter long crawl and it's 4.65 grams. So by my bug colour intrigues me. Sort of a purple almost translucently purple with a green pumpkin bottom or top whichever way around you want to rig this. Uh, it's a swimming crawl you can see the uh, paddles there and it's got gold and green glitter fleck in it I think. We'll see how it sits on the hook. It also has, you can see that clearly, a hole in the top which makes it float. So conditions are very challenging today. Uh, it's low water just after at the moment on a small tide. Um, they are just rigged it up Texas style, exposed it. The wind's in my face, I should be the other side of the bay really. But, uh, I don't want to drive all the way over there to find out there's a lot of mackerel bashers over there. Let's see what happens. Let's get into it. If we don't get any luck here, we'll go find some deeper water. We'll have a few casts on this mark. The wind seems to be freshening all the time now, so I may be forced to move. <sighs> Straight into snags, I think. I'm going. Oh, I got a fish. Sort of had a pump beforehand. Yeah, we got a little ras on on the fang. He's only tiny, so we'll uh, unwind him up. As the net's not totally to hand. Uh, here you go. Little guy, little green guy. There he is. Back he goes. Little crawl bait worked. Treat, didn't it? A bit more organised now. So fishing very shallow water and that fish took very close in. Well maybe it will continue then. really after so this is a swimming crawl so I tend to drag them or slight wind and drop drag you can just shake rattle and row so I was probably doing uh, but you have the option to swim them along a bit you just got to think about the appendages on your lures and how you with this bite you would best yeah there's another one this one feels a bit bigger Yes, yeah, this feels like a reasonable fish, this does. Yeah, a little bit bigger, this one. So we're into them. Not huge, but a reasonable fish. They're loving these things. Yeah, he's a better stamp of fish. Let's find somewhere nice to put him to uh, film the unhooking. Uh, slightly too deep to be honest, but it'll do for the moment. Uh, put him down. Somehow. There. So, ras in the net. A couple of pounds, nice, nice stamp of fish caught on the thang. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll get some nice photographs here now. Right. Yeah, it's a good sized fish, this one. That's all it was. I'm not going to weigh it. Okay, good camera. If we look, there's a good fish. He's a good couple of pounds, maybe a bit more. Teeth on him, the mouth on him. Wonderful, wonderful creature. Yeah, loving that one. Yeah. 
got a really nice wrasse in the net here. Uh, you can see them a bit clearer there now. Beautiful colours. Nice wrasse, probably about two and a half pounds, I'd say. Stocky fish, big head on him. Uh, probably go bigger the more he eats. He's going to be a big fish this one. We're going to let him go now because I don't want to stress him too much. There he is. Little beauty. Let's uh, get back to seaward side. Put him back. So I found a great, very productive area here. With some really nice fish. Uh, we'll put him back this side. The calmer side. Just a nice little... bit of trouble with the way you use them in the net. Let's lock the net out. Alright. There he goes. I thought I'd pick something up here. At least had a bite in this little area. There's a bite there then. That felt like a... Yeah, got one. Not big fish at all, but it's a ras, isn't it? See what I mean? I'm going to skip it up over the reef there. Alright. He's only little. So we'll get closer to the water. Another fish on that. Bama bug. Fang bait. Love them. 